Round three, we're on the play. Yeah, we're not going to keep that one. This one we'll keep. This is actually a good hand because apparatus into logger into be able to flip our logger um, and still use apparatus pretty nice. All right, opponent is keeping. We're going to keep. Keep that foul blood on top. Keep the turn progression coming. Apparatus kind of always got a bad rap, too, in my opinion. I'm not trying to say it's something insane, but I think it got a bad rap. Ooh, beautiful. This is where Logger really shines. We've got the beats. The beats are coming. All right. Mangling. Mangling. There's a wailing ghoul. Okay. Are we up against a zombie deck? Could be. What do we mill? Two lands. All right. Well, I wouldn't have minded drawing lands since it's going to go towards our observer, but I don't mind milling them either. All right. Maniac. My opponent's a maniac. All right. So we'll probably just kill the... Uh, the horror. Oh, the horror. Alright, let's just... I'm going to do it. I think he's going to block the Mangler on the Shredder anyway, so... Seems fine. Let's just take out the horror. Play a land. Smash. Yeah, I think opponent's just gonna block the shredder here. Which is fine. Let's get a little trample damage through. Alright. So we're up to three card types. We're close to delirium. Not quite there yet, but it's nice to see apparatus helping out. What do we got? Something big? So, I can't imagine there's a ton of bad draws for us. Stitchwing, okay. Because land at least gets us observer, non-land we just do stuff with. Yeah, it's a fine draw. Makes our eventual Dark Salvation better. And once we get Delirium, we're in bad or uh, good shape as well. Not bad shape, good shape. Mmm, scavenger getting back Mangler. That's pretty good value for my opponent. But I don't think Stitchwing's going to attack. It could. But then we get to attack with Foul Blood, which is pretty nice. Ooh, that's pretty slick now. All right, let's grapple. Be super happy about that. Do we have double black? How do I want to do my mana? So if I grapple and let's say, yeah, mm, probably doesn't matter. Let's just grapple. We're grappling now because both of them are going to get menace, which is just super sexy. So I guess we got to return a land. 
If I do a creature, well, let's see. I've got sorcery. I'm going to have instant. The sixth land will get us observer, but I think we're going to find another land. So if I bring back logger, I still have land, artifact, sorcery, instant. So let's just bring back the logger. And let's smash with our menace duders. Opponent can double black, but uh, block rather. But I think we'll just take out the stitch wing. Like opponent can discard to bring it back, but that's not a huge deal. Oh, that's kind of hmm. I was exp uh, I guess this plays around. This doesn't give me the choice. That basically it just gives my opponent the choice, which is better for my opponent. Right. Mangling. So opponent can get back Stitchwing. All right. Okay. Magnifying glass in an island to get back the... Uh, so I can't attack because of scavenger. Terrarian, all right. I would have been surprised if our opponent attacked there. All right, so let's smash with Foul Blood and Observer. Opponent can double block it like that, but that's all right. Opponent can double block the Observer. And I think once again we would just, I guess, kill the, hmm, maybe we kill the scavenger instead? Stitchwing has flying, but you can get it back. So I'd rather just kill the scavenger and draw a card, because both logger and foul blood can still trade with Stitchwing. So I'd prefer to not even give my opponent the option of getting back Stitchwing again. So is it this one we're doing? Okay. So let's kill that. And let's kill this. Guess I could have swung with everything, huh? Although, five open mana, two cards in hand, eh, might have been dangerous. Mutation, okay. Alright, I guess that works. So we'll draw a card. Scavenger. Second place, Scavenger getting back the foul blood seems good um we're just going to play a land 
Could have sandbagged it, but that's all right. No more seasons past value, but we do have another grapple with the past to get back our observer. Observer still did fine. Traded a card. Eh, I mean, obviously I wanted it to do more, but it did draw us a card and drew us a pretty valuable card at that. I could have done the stitch wing, like I said. Because now my scavenger would have been able to attack into their scavenger, but and can't attack into the stitch wing. Restraints. All right, it's pretty good for my opponent. So let's see, they have four blockers. Well, we're definitely smashing with the foul blood. So let's see here. If I swing with everything, how does my opponent block? They don't technically have to block foul blood, which means they can eat our 3-3 with a 3-4. They can eat a 2-1 with their 2-3. And then they can eat the... One, three, and take four. Yeah, I guess we're just swinging with foul blood then. And probably just taking out the wretched griff. I guess that is the play. So I'm kicking myself a little bit for killing the scavenger instead of the stitch wing. But then again, would my opponent have been able to save? Okay, they'd rather lose the stitch wing here. Which I guess makes sense. Guess we'll hold the land with all the mana up. All right. Stitch Wing's doing some pretty awesome work for my opponent here. Attack with everything. They block 3-3 three, three, with 3-4. Three, 2-3 two, three on 2-1. Two, take 1. That's not going to work. Not even take 1. They get to block that too. Well, we've got some draws here. We basically need Certain Death. We need Somberwald Stag. We need uh, Dark Salvation. Borrowed Malevolence kind of does something. Paul's got three cards in hand. All right. I guess we swing here. Hmm. Hmm.
Yeah, it's a tough spot now. Let me think about how to resolve this tough spot. So if I buff this, and I neg this, this is a 3-4 and it can eat this. So that's not going to work. If I buff, if I wait to buff, that might just be what I have to do. But my opponent's just going to block this on this. And then this on this. Which means I have to neg this and buff this. So I eat his mangler. Yeah. It's not that good. But if I buff this... Yeah. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. I think this has to happen. So we got it. He's just going to... You're just going to block the mangler on the... All right. Well, ooh. I think opponent botched that one. That actually works pretty well. They should have done opposite blocks. All right, worked out fairly well for us. My kingdom for a dark salvation. Did not bring back Stitchwing, which I guess means they got some cards in their hand. Tormentor is a fantastic draw. There's actually a reason to sandbag lands, too. I can pay for Convolute. Can't do anything about Broken Concentration. All right. That'll do it. Oh, a little bit of value here. All right. All right. So let's discard. Mm, can't do anything about that. All right. They got us. Bummer. Dark Salvation. Somberwald Stag will work. Not as well as I needed to, I guess. Hmm. Guess we play the Stag. We eat the Wretched Griff. I could eat the Mangler. I could eat the Mangler. What does that do? Still lets my opponent swing. So if I eat Mangler, I keep Stag. Stag can swing into my opponent's board, but no, I, I've got to eat the Flyer here.
Hmm. So if I give Tormentor Hexproof, it doesn't get rid of this, right? <laughs> No, I don't think it does, but All right. maybe we can try, I guess. But like I said, I don't think it does. Hexproof won't get rid of auras on there already, but I guess I got nothing better to do. With nine mana, I can Dark Salvation and do it for five anyway, so. All right. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Here's a Graph Rat Scavenger. My opponent's got two blocks. Let's see here. I can only attack with... So I can force the double block, but they can just go like that and this, and they can swing back for lethal. So I can't even, can't even do that. Well, we're, do I actually hold the graph rats till next turn? Or are we dead? Let's say I play graph rats, this transforms. I get two dudes, my opponent attacks with everything. I block. 2, 3, 3, 3, I take 5. So what I have to do is go to post-combat. <clears throat> and then play Graph Rats. So, I think I still possibly could win this. If my opponent attacks with everything except the Maniac, I have to do some, I have to block everything on the ground, which means Scavenger can eat Mangler, Ghoul can ch uh, eat Rats, and I can chump Weirded Vampire. So, I'm left with two blockers. Then I can get Grapple, my second one. Get back the rats and flip. All right, opponent is playing it safe. Does it give my guys haste too? That'd be too good. Gain menace, not haste. All right, all right. Prowler's not going to do it. All right, so we have to flip. All right, we're dead. Guess we'll just try and get a little bit ahead on the clock here. So straight up just one off that advanced stitch wing, pretty hard. Like just way too much incremental value and then we miss too many turns in a row. All right, so let's figure this out. I think we're just bringing the Spring Sage Ritual, which I've never brought in before, but when I see that many enchantments, yeah, we're going to do that. So bring in the Spring Sage. Definitely bring in the Clip Wings. Bring in the Ritual. 
Gloom Widow's not good against three fours, so that's not going to work. But Spring Sage will. So bring these two in. Uh, we can cut them a level inch, maybe. Maybe we cut the Malevolence and the Apparatus, even though both of them are pretty good there. I think I'd rather just have a Clip Wings and a Ritual. Ritual actually seems like it's pretty good here. If our opponent's banking on an instant speed mutation, we can destroy it that instant speed and gain life and, you know, stop their plans. So let's let's just probably swap these two. Okay, that seems fine. We could do grit too, which could also stop it in response. But I like everything else. Our deck's tight enough where I don't think I want to swap anything else. All right, play first. Yes, definitely a keep. Definitely a keep. All right, smash with Prowler and pass. Play a grapple at the end of our opponent's turn. Well, there goes our Spring Sage ritual. That's all right. Captive is pretty good here. Yeah, Captive lets us flip Prowler next turn, so we'll go for that. Or play a Salvation for two, which might just be what we're looking for, actually. Opponent didn't play a blue mana last turn. I mean, that could be... That could be good for us. All right, busting Terrarian, which I imagine means digging for that blue mana. Got the blue now. Found the blue. Stitch Mangler. All right. So hitting the captive, I imagine. So I can't... I can Dark Salvation for one. That does not seem worth it. Grapple number two. Not bad. So I could technically bring back my Prowler after I trade with the Graph Rats, but it doesn't really seem worth it. Let's just Graph. Graph it up. And leave up the Grapple. I mean, I could have offered the Prowler because I can get it back with Grapple and there's no guarantee that I'm going to find a creature with Grapple, which is true. Mm. I don't really like it, though. All right, 
opponent emerges. We do have a certain death for that. I've got a certain death in mind for that one. So if I get the land to certain death, I'll probably just do that, because then I can still smash for four. I did not get the land. Oh, I forgot to grapple. Ah, It's a costly mistake. Well, yeah, it's a costly mistake. Well, I can swing with Prowler and Rats. If opponent blocks the Rats with the Griff, I'll just eat it with the Salvation. All right. I think that's the plan. I even said Grapple, Grapple, Grapple. Just botched it. All right. So get our damage in. Play Salvation. Kill this thing. Not as sexy as I would have liked, but it'll do. So yeah, if I had for sure grappled, I would have for sure been able to certain death there and not had to use my Dark Salvation, but it's all right. It's all right. So, probably just certain death here. I think we saw any instant speed creatures that I can remember. Can bounce their own Stitch Mangler in response. Which is not bad for them, actually, but we're still going to be smashing this turn. No? Okay. All right. Works for me. Ah, the bane of my existence. It's actually not that terrible for us. <clears throat> So, smash with everything. Opponent takes four. I can follow up with two more creatures. And still play grapple. It's pretty good. Opponent could have the mutation, though. I'm not... I think they do have the mutation. I'm actually not going to play... I'm not going to flip this. I'm just going to go Creeper, Logger, Grapple. I, I can actually grapple first. If I'm going to do all three anyway, I could maybe find a better creature. Like I said, I think they have the mutation. Yeah, all right. That's okay. So we basically just get him for two here, but... All right. So let's grapple. Um, I could get Tormentor, so let's do this. So I guess we just get Graph Rats back. Okay. 
And we go logger and creeper. Actually, I guess graph rats, actually, because if I draw scavenger, we can just win. Well, get to flip our logger. That's pretty good. I don't have a ton of dead draws here either. Stag's not a dead one. All right, let's play it. If they have another mutation... All right, looks like they didn't. We're gonna we're gonna play the Wailing Ghoul next turn, mill those two, then draw clip wings. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. Into Seasons Pass, that definitely would have been good. Alright. Once again, unfortunately Gloom Widow is just not doing anything. <laughs> three three does nothing against his three fours. It's a problem. But everything else seems fine, so let's keep the rest the same here. Didn't see any X ones, right? Now I can't remember. I don't... No, we saw Graph Rats, but that doesn't seem worth it. So yeah, basically I like everything in our deck. I, I think we're good. We're well balanced at the moment. Our opponent knows we have the Spring Sage Ritual, but that doesn't matter. This is a good hand. This hand will do. This will do, pig. This will do. So I guess we get to go Logger into Revenant, which is not awful. Prowler would have been a little sexier on turn one. Well, pull us off blue mana again. That could be good. Oh, never mind. There is the Scarecrow. So we can trade Logger for Dragoon. Think we are though. I'd rather flip logger at some point. If my opponent uses scarecrow, there's a decent chance they're not going to be able to. Uh, not going to be able to. Um, cast a spell, which means our logger could flip. I do have quite a bit of incentive to... Uh, this could work out well for us. I guess it depends. My opponent's got to play a spell here or else Logger flips. I was going to say, though, I have quite a bit of incentive to play the Prowler next turn because it looks like we're going to be able to, which is really good news. Yeah. So now I get to play Prowler, too, which is nice. All right, works for me. Now we play the Prowler. Is there any reason to grapple? Nah, not right now. We'll do it at the end of our opponent's turn so they don't know what's coming. All right. Prowler can still be down at some point. Scavenger, ooh. I imagine getting back the Scarecrow. Oh, got back the Dragoon, okay. So let's grapple. Scavenger, ooh, Tormentor, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, you sexy thing, you. Boon, not bad, not bad. So I can actually swing with 
both my creatures. Because the Prowler can flip and still kill my opponent's thing, right? It's ordinarily a 2 1. It's going to get boosted to a 3 4. Yeah. That's not bad, actually. In fact, it, I might just want to... Wait, am I wrong about this? It is flipping to a 3-4, right? It's a 1-1, one, one, ordinarily a 2-1. It's going to flip into a 3-4. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing for us. I mean, now it's a 2-4, but... And I don't have my Tormentor out, but I don't think that matters. I got his 3-3 off the board. All right, I can take care of the Stallion. Scavenger can do some work at some point. So let's just swing with our Revenant, doing his job, doing his job. Two-point life swing a turn, unblockable. Play this and pass. Now Scavenger can get back, I guess, Foul Blood. So I'm not going to use Tormentor's ability. The main reason I'm not using Tormentor's ability is we know our opponent's got another mutation in there as well as some other goodies. So especially considering we're still ahead on time, I think it's better to just chill. Just chill out here. All right, let's swing with the Revenant. We're going to play the Scavenger, getting back the Foul Blood. We're not in a rush. Like I said, we're ahead on the clock, so let's just play this intelligently. I'll play another land. I can still use Tormentor when I need it. <clears throat> While we're ahead on the clock, let's, let's make our opponent do something here. Wretched Griff. All right, so we can bash in with Tormentor now. doesn't seem bad. While they're tapped out. Pay our three. Yes. And for five, let's play the boon on the stallion. Actually, we could just play another foul blood instead. Yeah. Seems fine. We got three card types. The boon's gonna give us delirium. Opponent kinda has to attack, so I guess that makes sense. So I'm not gonna do tormentor. Alright, let's boon the stallion. Get delirium. So we can bash with these three. Could bash with Tormentor two.
I think we're going to hold up on that. Guess I could... No, I don't need to... All right, let's just bash with these. All right. So we can use Tormentor now. And I can just discard the Creeper if I have to. If they have something else. That's pretty nice. So we'll discard the Creeper to protect our Tormentor. So now we can't play Clip Wings, but we can do it on our opponent. Well, if we do it on our opponent's turn, they have to discard another card to save their wretched griff. So that seems fine. So we'll wait until they're after they've attacked. Because otherwise they can discard and still attack with the dragoon. All right, so now we clip wings, because that means they have to discard, actually, another card to Dragoon. All right, so it's just a couple lands, but it's fine. Made him discard two cards, three cards over not even two turns. All right, so that's going to be discard fodder for... Mr. Big Stuff over here. Who does he think he is? All right. Nice. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Deck uh, was pretty awesome. It played well for us. I think I only ended up making one mistake to grapple with the, the pass thing. Maybe some commenters will point out some other plays I could have done. That, that happens a lot. Uh, so the deck was sweet. Obviously, I love this archetype. I know I've been playing it a lot, but it's hard not to when you open Dark Salvation and get past, like, what was it, an eighth pick boon or seventh pick boon? Something insane like that. So deck played well. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one. It will be an 8-4. Thanks, everybody.